It's another edition of the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle. Coming up today, it's the Red Hot Seahawks, winners of eight straight. We'll have highlights of the most recent win against the High Point Panthers. We have a special holiday performance from the UNCW athletes. Stick around for that one. Also, we introduce you to Noah Ross. We have our Play of the Week, the Player of the Week, and we'll preview the final non-conference game of the season here for UNCW. They take on the Campbell University Fighting Camels, the last ever non-conference meeting between the two schools before the Camels join the CAA. All that straight ahead on this edition of the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle. It starts right now. Well, UNCW on a roll right now. They won eight consecutive games. We'll talk about that game in a moment. Mike Vicaro here with Takeo Siddle, head coach of the Seahawks. Coach, during the course of this winning streak, though, we mentioned in the uh, radio show, you're winning different type of games. That says a lot about a team and the progression of a team. It does. And you have to be, uh, you have to be ready to uh, be in, in um, you know, grinded out type games that may be low scoring. You have to be ready to uh, win games that are high scoring and we've done um, we've done a lot of those we've done uh, games that we've won games that are really low scoring we've done uh, won games that are in the middle we won games that are in the 80s um, you know so our, our team is pretty much prepared for any type of game which is what we wanted in the non-conference as you prepared for High Point, this is what was going to be one of those games in the 80s. They average 85 points a game, one of the best and highest scoring teams in the country as well. Your concerns going into this and how you were looking to try to slow them down. Well, getting back in transition defense was the thing that we really talked about the most. And then in the half court, being able to guard our yard without fouling. Uh, we, we fouled a little bit too much late in the game, um, but those were our concerns. Uh, defending them. They're really talented, really explosive offensively. So uh, we knew we were going to have our hands full. Coming off your exam break as well, so how did that kind of play into things? Because I know you didn't have the entire team that whole week, just maybe toward the end of it. Yeah, we, what we wanted to do was make sure um, we focused on our um, final exams. And, um, you know, that was, the, that was the number one priority for us. And uh, then getting them in the gym a little bit uh, so they could stay sharp and not lose their conditioning. Uh, was important and uh, we had a few team practices where we really got after it and uh, but we wanted to mix in some rest in um, in those days as well so we didn't go very long uh, we wanted to uh, get out there and, and get them loose and and get going a little bit make our points and uh, get them back to get some rest and I think we accomplished that. This team has been going and going and going, not much time in between games. Now you had a little bit of time. Did it give you a chance maybe to get back to some of the basics and work on some of the, the fundamentals as you continue to move forward? Right. We, we wanted to, um, you, know, on my, you know, on my mind, on my notes that I wrote down going into exam break, I wanted to make sure we shored up our transition defense. I wanted to make sure we shored up our uh, half-court defense and uh, rebounding the basketball. So we were going to focus in on those things anyways. Uh, just so happened uh, to be strengths of high point, uh, which was, you know, we kind of killed two birds from one stone right there. And again, you get ready for a high point here, high power team, and you know the defense or you know the bench is going to be key once again. The bench has been pivotal for this team throughout the season. What does it say about the depth of this team when your, your bench is one of the best benches in the country right now? Well, it's important. It's important because, like I said to you before, Mike, um, you know, we have – guys in different roles and bigger roles uh, from last year's team and they're trying to get used to it um, trying to get used to uh, the demand i put on them and, and being consistent in those roles and you know it's going to be ups and downs so to have a bench where when they're struggling um, we can sub in somebody and um, lift our team up is very important Oh, well, you're going to see some of the bench come up big here against High Point. Again, the, our Rage Jewelers highlights from this game with the Panthers Sunday in Trans Coliseum. Let's take a look. Down low to White. White trying to back down, steps through, steps it all the way to the basket. The layup is good for Bezerian White. So I think the Panthers.
on the play. Seahawks benefit there by basically an errant pass. Driving and scoring up the glass is Shaiki Phillips. Right, drives it past the defense and the layup is good. The reverse dribble. Dropping it, right elbow to White. Eight on the shot clock. White shakes, drives it in traffic, hangs, shot up and in. Great area of White. Start to take over. To Ross, left block this time, down low to White. White trying to back down, steps through, steps it all the way to the basket. The layup is good for his area White. It's benefit there by basically an errant pass. Driving and scoring up the glass is Shaikin Phillips against the defense of William. Harvey in traffic for a high point. Blocked away by Kelly. Coming up with it now is Phillips. And he'll bring it down the oh, board. The, the Seahawks benefit there by basically an errant pass. Driving and scoring up the glass is Shaikin Phillips. Well, UNCW built the big lead here up 22 at one point. Certainly high point made it interesting. Coach, I know you know you get the win, but there's some things that, to work on, and, and that's a good thing to, to be able to work on things after a victory like this. Yeah, it, the non-conference is uh, set up that way, and you have to be able to go through uh, different situations to learn from them. It's obviously uh, great to learn uh, from your mistakes in a win, and uh, you know this is a new group, and we're going through um, you know we're experiencing different things, and our guys are handling it the right way. Um, we were up big. Uh, and, and we lost the lead, and we ended up closing it out, which shows a little bit of maturity from our group. But we know that moving forward, and we talked about it, that we have to be better in those situations, and we will be. Hey, yeah, you look at this game, five and double figures for UNCW. Trezarian White leads away with 19 points. But again, the, the bench was big, 33 points here for the bench. Malik Harton Hayes, 11. Jamari Harvey, 10 points, some key threes for him in this game. And, and again, you know, the, the bench has been the difference maker right now. 21st in the country in bench points, UNCW right now. I mean, without the depth, you're probably not in the position you are in right now. No, absolutely not. You, you basically have um, two starters coming off with uh, Donovan and uh, Malik, which is, uh, you know, is great to have. It makes me sleep a little bit better at night. And uh, some other guys are starting to come on a little bit. Uh, when, you, when you talk about Nolan Hodge and uh, Victor gave us some big minutes, and Nick Ferrar, uh, he's played well as of late. So it, it definitely may, it helps me sleep better at night. It, um, you know, it helps our team out when we can come off the bench and, and get a big lift and uh, not have any drop off. Uh, and I think it's going to be key to our success. Again, 85-82 final score. UNCW over high point, eight straight wins for the Seahawks with one more non-conference game left in this season. We'll take a break here when we get back. It's going to be a holiday performance from uh, some UNCW athletes, including a couple of men's basketball players. See if you can pick those guys out. That is straight ahead. Stay with us. It's the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright. So, this Black Friday, choose a vehicle in stock or simply place a custom order. Lock in your rate and you're protected, even if rates go up before your order comes in. Plus, thousands of vehicles are arriving daily, just in time for the holidays. This Black Friday, lock in this low rate on a new 2022 Ford F-150. Hurry, choose from over 7,000 Ford trucks and SUVs, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Mountain Dew. A rush of crisp and refreshing flavor. Delivering a bold citrus kick. Dew to do. Anna, can you count to five without saying one or three? Sure, two, four, five. <laughs> That's right. Our big story is the two for five breakfast deal at Hardee's. You got me. I know, I did. 
Bite into our made from scratch biscuits today. Globe Ultra, 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. Hands. You might think they're just for waving, but they can be used for all kinds of things, like making made-from-scratch biscuits at Hardee's. Bite into the new two for five dollar breakfast deal only at Hardee's. Rocking around. <laughs> Christmas party hop. <laughs> Mistletoe hung where you can see every couple tries to stop. <laughs> Rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. You will get a sentimental feeling when you're here. Oh, Voices singing, let's be jolly, deck the halls with boughs of holly. Rocking around Christmas tree, have a happy holiday. Everyone dancing merrily in the new old fashioned way. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear <laughs> Voices Fröhliche Weihnachten vom Fußballteam. Happy Holidays and a Merry Christmas from Men's Soccer. Happy Holidays from the Softball Team. People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns, as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. Game day at Walk-Ons is just different. And it starts with the way our teammates prep each dish from our scratch menu. No shortcuts. We are hand cutting every single mozzarella log straight from the block. Hand peeling, stuffing, and bacon wrapping each voodoo shrimp. Hand carving ribeyes for our steaks and po' boys. And hand slicing, then tossing our boneless wings in our house-made sauces. With wall-to-wall -wall TVs and food like this, why would you want to watch anywhere else? That's game day, the walk-on's way. Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Fortune with Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Excited to be on the UNCW campus today to talk to you about this week's Medical Minute. Shoulder injuries are extremely common in sports, recreational, and job-related activities. These injuries can range from chronic overuse injuries to traumatic injuries like shoulder separations, dislocations, and even rotator cuff tears. Sometimes injuries can be prevented, but sometimes with traumatic injuries they are not preventable. But we always talk about preventative strategies to try to limit their effects. One of the biggest things to consider is rotator cuff strength as well as upper back strength, in addition to good posture throughout your day. As always, if these symptoms persist, please come see us at Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Our goal is to support you with easily accessible world-class care for all your orthopedic and sports medicine needs.
Preparing for the big game, athletes practice countless hours year round. Then it's game time and their fans get to see the results, cheering on their team to a win. At Coastline Insurance, we're working hard behind the scenes, preparing for when you need us, because we want our customers to be our biggest fans. Let Coastline Insurance shop your coverage and find out why we say, when we shop, you win. Find us online at coastlineinsurance.com. Time for this week's Pepsi Player Profile, and it is Noah Ross. And Coach, there's only two freshmen on this team, but you are high on these guys. Uh, Noah Ross, Nolan Hodge, doing some good things. And Ross coming off a career night that he had against High Point on Sunday. Yeah, he, you know, those guys, uh, they get it. Um, they're best friends. They're like joined at the hip. Uh, so they kind of, you know, they work together uh, on the court. They, um, you know, they make sure they do their treatment uh, before and after practice. Th those guys are, we like to call them pros, pros. They do the right things to prepare themselves to play well. And, um, you know, it's very um, refreshing for me as a coach uh, to, to watch him go out there and produce like he did the other night. And um, Nolan had a great night as well. And as we talked on the radio show, kind of a throwback player is Noah Ross. Really takes care of his body, really prepares, and then once he gets on the court, man, he is going 100 miles an hour, diving for loose basketballs. It's a lot of energy that he provides in his freshman season here. Yeah, you know, it's um, he's very mature for a freshman. Um, you know, I've I've been on him a lot because I know how special he can be. And um, leading up to the game, I put him on the second team uh, because he was you know, struggling with some things and not locked as locked in as I needed him to be. And uh, he responded the right way. And he had uh, some really good practices leading up to the game. And I knew he was going to play well, but not that well. Um, but, you know, he, he just cares about winning. He cares about winning. He's all about the right things. Yeah, certainly doing the uh, right things right now for UNCW in that starting rotation. And uh, again, for him coming off a career game against High Point. John Smith has more now on the freshman Noah Ross. Welcome back. John Smith joined here with Noah Ross. Uh, true freshman here at UNCW. Um, came down from the Raleigh area. Talk about the recruitment and what was it about UNCW that uh, made you choose the Seahawks? Yes, yeah, so the recruitment process, um, it was good. Um, you know, I enjoyed it. There were definitely ups and downs throughout it. Um, I finished, I ended up committing early to UNCW because, um, you know, just really felt like it was a place for me, um, but finished with 19 offers committed, um, actually the same day as Nolan Hodge, um, other freshman, and, uh, you know, it just, it, it felt like home for me, like the coaching staff, everyone's on the same page, um, you know, a lot of friends that I have that go to other schools, you know, they talk about how, you know, maybe they're hearing something different from their assistant coach compared to their head coach. Um, but really, I just I built a great relationship with um, Travis Hackert. He was the one who recruited me here, and then obviously Coach Siddle. Um, but I uh, just got really close with them, and um, you know, me personally, I play the best when I'm comfortable, when I know you know what everyone's not necessarily thinking, but um, you know how they feel about a situation, stuff like that. So um, for me, being the most comfortable around them, um, I knew that's where you know I'd be my best, and obviously can't beat a place like Wilmington. So that's what did it for me. Your, uh, you know, season in high school, you kind of, you know, as the season went on, people started to know who you were with, you know, fantastic dunks down the lane. That transition from the high school game to the college game, how different has it be, been? Um, it's been very different. And so we had to get here over the summer. Um, we had a couple summer sessions as a team. Um, and then once we got into playing live together, there was probably a, maybe two or three week period. Um, you know, Nolan had the same thing as me where um, each of us just had to slow down. You know, we were getting sped up. Obviously, in high school, um, you know, you're the best player on your team, um, you know, probably bigger than everyone else. And then coming here, you know, I'm playing with teammates that um, were also the best on, you know, every team they ever came from. And, you know, physically are just as bigger or bigger than me. Um, so it, it was it was a rough adjustment at first, I'd say. Um, but um, I, you know, the big thing for me was keeping my head on throughout that adjustment period that it wasn't, it wasn't a skill thing, it wasn't a um, confidence thing, it was, um, you know, I just needed some experience um, and, you know, really get the chance to slow down. So uh, after that, it was good and I uh, haven't really looked back since. So it's been good. Expectations for yourself in the season? Um, I just, I just want to, you know, contribute to a winning team. 
Um, biggest thing for me is winning ball games, um, and you know I'd, I'd love to have a contributing role in that. Um, you know, not too worried about you know who's starting, who's playing, you know, who's playing where, who's playing how many minutes. Um, you know, just kind of worried about controlling what I can control on a day in and day out basis, and wherever the chips fall is where they fall. Well, I appreciate your time, Noah Ross, John Smith. We'll be right back. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright. So this Black Friday, choose a vehicle in stock or simply place a custom order. Lock in your rate and you're protected, even if rates go up before your order comes in. Plus, thousands of vehicles are arriving daily, just in time for the holidays. This Black Friday, lock in this low rate on a new 2022 Ford F-150. Hurry, choose from over 7,000 Ford trucks and SUVs, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Mountain Dew. A rush of crisp and refreshing flavor. Delivering a bold citrus kick. Do the do. Anna, can you count to five without saying one or three? Sure, two, four, five. <laughs> That's right. Our big story is the two for five breakfast deal at Hardy's. You got me. I know, I did. Bite into our made from scratch biscuits today. Ultra, 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. Hands. You might think they're just for waving, but they can be used for all kinds of things, like making made from scratch biscuits at Hardee's. Bite into the new two for five dollar breakfast deal only at Hardee's. Time now for this week's Flying Machine Play of the Week. You've got to love it. Once again, you start with the defense that leads to the offense on the other end for UNCW. Here is our Flying Machine Play of the Week. House dishes down low, and Harvey has a shot blocked by Kelly. Ross down the floor, steps it through, lays it up off the glass. A career day. Once again, our flying machine play of the week, Coach, we've seen it a couple of times, the defense, a block on one end and a layup or three on the other end, and you do it once again. And uh, again, the defense feeding into the offense, that is great for a coach to see. It is. I want it to uh, continue to be that way. Um, you know, we work on defense a lot, and we talk about our defense creating offense for us. And, um, when we can make plays like that, they're really big momentum plays for us. Yeah, Maury Kelly seems like to have a key block like that. And then, again, on the other end, you have the freshman Noah Ross who knows how to finish right there. Yeah, you know, Maury's a, a really good shot blocker, one of the best in our league, and uh, we need him to protect the rim. And if we can make plays like that and have some pick six steals and get some big blocks like that to lead us into layups on the other end, we'll be, uh, you know, to help our offense out. Again, a very good play, our flying machine play of the week. Time now for the Carolina Ford Dealers Player of the Week. And we stick with Noah Ross here, Coach. A, a career night for him with 15 points, a career high six rebounds, two steals, no turnovers. He had a couple assists as well, shot the ball well, and he set the tone early on with his threes in this game. Just a, a pivotal and game-changing type of game for him. It was, and, and it was great for him to see it go in early because it really uh, – upped his energy level just overall, and we needed that. He hit a couple big threes to start the game off, and, um, you know, for me, sometimes when you're, when you're over there and we hadn't shot the ball great, uh, we have in our eight-game win streak, but uh, that was one of my concerns coming into the year, and I knew he would be a good three-point shooter for us, so to see him break loose and, and make a couple, um, that was really refreshing. Recognized here on this show, but recognized 
by the league as well, the Rookie of the Week in the CAA. So a, a nice honor to see. Again, only two freshmen on this team, but guys that are excelling in their roles. Yeah, he's excelling. He's starting to get more comfortable. And um, like I said before, he, he deserves it. Uh, because he really works at it and gives himself a chance to play well every night. And played a career high in minutes in this game as well against High Point. So once again, our Carolina Four Dealers Player of the Week is the freshman Noah Ross. We'll take our final break. On the other side, we'll preview the matchup with Campbell coming up this week in the Creek. Stay with us. More to come after this. People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns, as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. Game day at Walk-Ons is just different. And it starts with the way our teammates prep each dish from our scratch menu. No shortcuts. We are hand cutting every single mozzarella log straight from the block. Hand peeling, stuffing, and bacon wrapping each voodoo shrimp. Hand carving ribeyes for our steaks and po' boys. And hand slicing, then tossing our boneless wings and our house-made sauces. With wall-to-wall -wall TVs and food like this, why would you want to watch anywhere else? That's game day, the walk-on's way. Hi, my name is Dr. Claude Jarrett with Wilmington Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine here on UNCW's campus for your medical minute. Here in Wilmington, we're lucky enough to have the ability to enjoy a lot of outdoor sports and activities, such as our lovely beaches. One of the more common injuries that we see this time of year are biceps tendon ruptures. The bicep tendon rupture is typically with eccentric load with heavy lifting by flexing the elbow. One of the best ways to prevent this type of injury is make sure you're lifting in a correct manner, using more legs, less arms. With Wilmington Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, our job is to help patients avoid long lines and expensive cost of the emergency room, we're able to tackle many orthopedic injuries such as acute traumas, fractures, and sprains. Preparing for the big game, athletes practice countless hours year-round. Then, it's game time, and their fans get to see the results, cheering on their team to a win. At Coastline Insurance, we're working hard behind the scenes, preparing for when you need us, because we want our customers to be our biggest fans. Let Coastline Insurance shop your coverage and find out why we say, when we shop, you win. Find us online at coastlineinsurance.com. Well, UNCW wraps up the non-conference slate on the road in Bowie's Creek, 2 o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. Uh, again, it's, it's been a wild non-conference slate for UNCW, very busy. Uh, November, it slowed down a little bit here this month, but to get to this point, Coach, uh, it's amazing to see where this team has grown. And, and now you take on a Campbell team, that Princeton-style offense. You've got to be a disciplined defensive team, I would think. Yeah, we do. It's going to be completely different because – their offensive system is tailor-made for teams like us who defend like we do. And, uh, you know, we're high pressure in the passing lane, so we're going to have to be very disciplined and uh, get away from our system a little bit and, um, you know, make sure that we don't give up a lot of back cuts, uh, making sure that we stay connected, stay on balance. And um, we've done a good job in the last two years when we've played them. And um, hopefully our guys can lock in, which I think they will, and execute our defensive scout report. The back cuts, but then that leads to some three-point shooting for them. They're averaging over seven made threes a game as well. So, again, that defense has to really be disciplined here. Right, right. And, and I told the guys uh, yesterday, you know, you're going to have to kind of back up and get uh, – we talk about being mirror's image with them and, and not getting back cut. But we have to be up close enough just in case they catch it and get ready to shoot it. So, not being on our heels too much, but – uh, having great distance to where we can take the back cut away and contest a three-point shot. Long-standing rivalry with Campbell University, and this is the last non-conference game. Coaches are coming into the league next year. It should be a nice rivalry. Certainly the distance between the two schools is, is short enough for the fans to get there and, and certainly a good addition coming next year. Yeah, we're excited about them coming into our league. We've, uh, we've had the series going with, on with them for a very long time, and uh, to have them come into our league, I think it'll be uh, – Really good for the CAA. So, again, the final non-conference uh, game of the year. And uh, 
non-conference meeting between Campbell and UNCW. Two o'clock, Bowie's Creek. We're on the air at 145 on 95.9 FM. The Breeze, if you cannot make the short trip up to the creek. Coach, uh, just the one game this week. Best of luck. Thank you, Mike. Again, for Takeo Siddle, Hope Richardson, Joe Browning, our entire crew, I'm Mike Vaccaro. Thanks for joining us here. It is the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle.